Hello, students, and welcome to another episode of the Terabyte series, Past Questions and Answers, practical video series for elective ICT. My name is Sebru, and on today's episode, we'll be solving a question from the year 2018. This is from the School Candidates WASI 2018 paper, question number two. Now, as it is my custom, I'm going to split my screen into two. On the left-hand side, you're going to have our question. On the right-hand side, we are going to have the respective application for solving the problem that has been provided. Now, we'll go ahead and read our question. It says, create a database application and save it as mock in the folder created. I have always mentioned that the folder created represents a folder that should have your name and your index number that should be either on your desktop, preferably, or in my document that you are going to use to collect all your solutions and eventually burn it onto your CD for submission. It is very important to save all your works in this particular folder. Now, since it's a database question, you're going to open Microsoft Access and use that to provide our solution. So I'm going to put access on our right-hand side and our question remains on our left-hand side. So the question says, create a database application and save it as mock. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and save it. So we're saving it as mock. We're going to be saving it in our folder, okay? So save. Fantastic. Right, so question A says create table one. And the B part says use the form in 2AII to enter the data as shown in table one. So what we are going to do is we're going to create the structure for this table and then we are going to use a form to fill this table so let's go ahead and let's create our table let's switch our view to design view so the name of our table is going to be let's name it table one as it is in the question okay so we are going to have our field names. Now, by inspection, you will see that our fields are level, STID, student ID, math, English, and French. And we are supposed to fundamentally assign our primary key. Now, our primary key has to go to significant codes that are distinct from any other codes in our table that can be used to represent a particular entry. Now, by simple inspection, you will discover that STIDs fit this category, right? They fit this category. So we are going to, first, our field name is level. And the type of data we're going to have out there is number, not auto number, number. Next one is ST underscore ID and the kind of data type is going to be number as well by inspection you know it's just numbers next one is math and then data type is going to be number english and because we are taking in scores is also going to be number and then we have french also going to be number fantastic right so now that we are basically done with creating our tables, we are going to switch back to our data sheet view. And there we have our table. There we have our table, right? From level all the way to French. Now we didn't assign our primary key, so we need to do that. And our primary key goes to ST underscore ID because it has unique characters that um, represent every data entry, right? So I'm going to switch back to data sheet view. Fantastic. Now we've been asked to use a form to enter our data. So you'll go to the create tab and then click on 
from design sorry we'll go to create and then we'll click on form awesome so our form has been generated for us based on the table that we created right so we're going to simply enter our data using our form so we're going to switch to form view and then we can enter our data so first one is this first entry level so we have one then we have two one zero zero nine seven then we have 66 then we have 54 then we have 46 then we'll click on the next record where we will have two 210099 then we have three two one zero zero two two eighty eight seventy five six then we have our fourth record which is two two one zero zero seven seven forty five fifty three and fifty five then we have our final record which is level is one std is 210064 math score is 89 english score is 65 and french score is 43 fantastic so we can go ahead and save this as table one four since the question they didn't ask us how to save it and then we can close this and open it again and we should find data in our table so as you can see our table now contains the respective data that we entered using our form fantastic now the c part says create a query to sort the table exams by level and math in ascending order. So we want to create a query that will bring us level and math in ascending order. To do that, we are going to click on our table and we're going to click on create. Then we are going to go to query design. We are going to choose table one, which is our source table. Let's take one of these out. Okay. Now our table must be sorted by level and then by math. Right. So we are selected level and we are selected math. These are the only two fields that we need. The rest of the question says must be sorted in ascending order. So we come to the sort row and then we choose ascending. Okay, so we're going to do ascending based on the level. Is that okay? Now, once we have done this, we'll simply go and run. So as you can see, we have received the query that is made up of the fields level and mathematics, and it has been ordered use in ascending order using level right so from one all the way to three the question finally says we should save this query as srt srte or srt exams at this point we are done with our question and we are straight moving into our 15 solid marks Thank you for tuning in. My name has been Sebru and catch you on the next episode. Take your time, go through the question 
and reproduce the solutions. Be confident in your answers and I'll catch you on the next episode. Cheers, guys. <laughs>